Hello everybody. 안녕하세요. 저는 Russian K artist입니다. Hello everybody. It is Russian K artist. Um, if you are new to this channel, I do a lot of artwork and talk about God a lot. So stay tuned if you guys like those subjects. Anyways, today I'm going to be drawing a paper. I mean, I'm going to be drawing an art project. Drawing something. Drawing a scorpion. Sorry. Let's get to the drawing. Um, so while I talk, go ahead and watch me draw. In the beginning here though, I do show a little bit more in slow motion because I'm doing more of like bubble shapes in order to get my um, rough draft of this drawing and I wanted to show you guys a bit of that because it's very very helpful and then I go off and speed off onto the actual artwork making it a little bit quicker. Anyways, moving on forward. So um, today's subject that I really really want to touch on was going to be about, if you guys read my title, um, it's about why I personally can't live without God. And I'm not going to bring Bible verses into this because it's more of a personal thing for me and why I need him and not much of like why you should need him and stuff, I guess. But it's just my own personal experience so you guys can get and understand the mind of me or the mind of a Christian in general, especially a believer in God who is especially a very firm believer or um, yeah, something like that. Anyways, moving on. So... Basically, what's been going on lately, and you know, I love telling about my stories in life because I've got nobody else to share them with. Um, <laughs> anyways, lately, what's been going on is that I have been focusing a lot on a lot of worldly things in my life. For instance, I've got self-studies that I do. I focus on my YouTube channel here. I love to learn new things. Like, it's just like a big addiction to me sometimes I just love learning something new because I get when I get bored I don't like to be bored so I love to fill it in with something else because I'd rather do something learn something new instead of just sit there being bored in my room or in my house or whatever so anyways I've been doing a lot of that so and then I also have a job and lately because of the coronavirus I've been working a lot more than I usually work usually I work part-time but lately I've been working almost full-time every week and that's it's very overwhelming for me because if I'm doing that constantly and then I'm coming home and I'm learning things, my mental state is getting a little bit crowded up there, you know, my brain getting a little bit. I, by the way, I ate a little snack in there too. I always do that in my videos apparently if you guys never notice. If you don't, well, yeah, I don't know if you will. Anyways, so I love to learn things and I love using my mental brain. So when I come home from work, I am, you know, tired physically tired so then I go on and I'm doing some self-studying or I'm working on my YouTube video or something else like that and I love doing these things and these are your hobbies that are just they're great I love them um, but lately because of all the extra activities I've been doing I decided to give myself a couple of days rest off my studies because I've been slacking on them anyways and I was like, whatever, maybe my brain just needs some time to relax because I've noticed myself getting a little bit too crazy, I guess you can say. Not really crazy, but I've been getting a little bit too angry and tired and fatigued and just overwhelmed and stressed and all these different things. So because of all of that, I decided, you know, give myself some rest time. And I was like, I just need to relax. That's what I need to do. So I tried watching a few shows, um, I tried reading some books and sorts and whatever, and I was still tired, still very fatigued, and thought maybe, you know, I'm just iron deficient, you know, so I ate, drank some stuff that iron in it, maybe that would help me. Um, no, I'm still tired, I'm exhausted. Um, and I noticed that my attitude has been getting really, really crabby, and I've been getting angry a lot, and like little things that happen, I'm just like, no, I mean, I just blow up, you know, like my parents asked me, hey, go cook something, and I'm just like blowing up at them, and I'm like, why am I so angry? What is wrong with me? I'm not typically like this. I like being positive. I love being happy because there's no point in being angry. It doesn't make sense to me why I should always be angry, you know? That's one of the reasons why I just rather forgive somebody than hold a grudge on them because it's too much effort, you know, to be angry. But I was just so angry, especially today. I've just like, I didn't even know if I wanted to make a video because I was just angry. And that's that was it. And I'm like, why am I angry? What is going on? I want to literally smack my head against a wall because my head is just feels so crammed up. It feels 
almost like a physical pain almost but it wasn't a physical pain it was more of a mental pain because my head was tired but my body was my body wasn't actually as tired i did notice that though usually my body's really fatigued and tired but today my body wasn't tired my head was my head was just overwhelmed crazy i didn't like it and so every little thing that happened i literally snapped and i don't like me like that i hate me like that so trying to figure out what's wrong with me why am i getting so angry and crabby and i was like maybe i'm just working too much because i have been working a lot more lately i was like maybe i'm just working too much but i recently just had like a, you know like four days off in a row and then i worked a lot too after that but i'm like i you know i had a good amount of times of rest and i'm giving myself some time from studying and i am giving myself some time from doing those other extra activities that I love to do and I'm just trying to relax but it's not helping it's really not helping me so I just you know I was just thinking I was like what's going on and it dawned on me you know God reminded me like hey hello I'm still here you're not paying attention to me I can help you why don't you ever ask for help because I love taking things on myself and that's a very very terrible habit anyway so God basically just like put it in my you know put it in my brain basically because I needed to be like smacked into me or something um, that I am not focusing on him I am not giving him the time of day. I'm not reading my scriptures. I am not, well, reading his scriptures. I'm not reading his scriptures. I'm not praying. I'm not doing all these different things for him. I'm not spending time with him. I'm not talking to him. Like, I've literally almost, like, thrown him out the window and was like, hey, so I'm going to go ahead and do all my stuff, okay? So you can just relax over there and uh, I'll come get you some other time. I don't know. But, yeah, so that's basically what I've been doing. And for me, especially for a Christian... Um, somebody who relies on the Lord, we can't do this. <laughs> and I did this. And um, he just reminded me about it. And I was like, oh, okay, I'm, you know, like, that's why I'm not giving God the time of day. And I have to, like, me physically and spiritually, like, I have to give God time. I have to just take time and read the scriptures. I have to pray. Why? Because whenever I do these things and I spend time with God, I notice a big change in me personally, um, in me physically, in me spiritually, and, you know, in me mentally even. I calm down and relaxing me and just, I don't, I don't know what or how he does it. He just like takes all of that stress and throws that out the window and comes back inside. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's really weird. I'm so sorry the way I'm saying things, but also I'm not a preacher guys. So everything that I say in my videos, please, please double check it through the Bible. Please do your own studies on it as well. I don't want to ever preach anything out there or say anything out there that it could be wrong to the Bible. So definitely correct me if I ever say anything incorrect and we can have discussions about it or I can learn from it and what's what forth, you know, whatever. Um, but anyways, yeah, so God is... He puts me back together again, basically, is what I'm trying to bring out. And it's not because I grew up Christian that I love God, that I serve God and so forth. I've had my own experiences with God and I know he's real because I've had my own experiences. I've had my own times where I'm just, I felt the presence of God, where I just knew God was there, where things just, things in my life just happened and they literally proved the existence of God to me. And so I am a very, very firm believer in God, but I do notice myself slipping away and constantly having to be put back on track. And that's what God does for me. He literally helps me get back on track and he helps me calm down. He helps me get back to the way I'm supposed to be and not go crazy mad, smacking my head against a wall or something. You know what I'm saying? Um... Also, I do want to ask a question here as well uh, for this video. Um, for those of you who watch my videos who are probably like um, atheists and whatnot, what do you guys do to calm yourselves down whenever you're going through some crazy thing like this where you feel like you're much angrier than you usually are, you're more stressed than you usually are? 
what do you guys typically do that actually calms you down? Because for me, like, I mean, I could spend time with friends and stuff like that, and it's all well and good, and it does calm me down as well sometimes. But when I spend times with um, Christian friends and friends with, you know, God's people, basically, it helps me calm down so much better, and it actually helps build me up more. And it's not just calming me down and, well, next day I'm going to go stressed again. Um, no, it calms me down and it actually like builds me up and I'm happy again for like the next how much time. Um, but if I'm constantly in God, then I'm constantly happy and excited and I just feel the love and I, you know, I feel his presence within me all the time and it's, it's great. And then sometimes I don't feel his presence within me, but I know he's within me and I know he's in me and I know I'm in him and you know, it's, you know, it's the, it's the whole thing, something else for a different video for a different subject. Um, but yeah, so I just want to ask you guys that question. What do you guys do? Because I've noticed throughout this coronavirus thing, there are more suicides that have been going on. There have been a lot more divorces. However, this is what I've heard. Um, so if you guys, if I'm wrong, I mean, tell me, of course, but this is what I've heard and I can understand why, because, you know, husband and wife are usually working and then they're always constantly together and they're starting to get annoyed at each other and stressed out by each other and so a lot more divorces are happening and people are so crammed in their houses lately a lot more people are committing suicide and that's a very big troubling thing so my prayers go out to all of you guys out there and uh i will be praying for all my subscribers and yeah so i hope you guys take care and god bless you guys so yeah, just comment down below what you guys do to help yourselves calm down. If you guys watched it all the way till the end of this video, thank you, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I am now at 36 subscribers. That's not a lot, but it is, it's growing pretty quickly actually for a new channel. Um, but yeah, God bless you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I'm actually very proud of this drawing. I love it. I think it's actually pretty amazing. Um, it was a lot easier to draw than I thought it would be as well. So that's good. But yeah, so Annyeong, Dasvidanya. Uh, if you guys want to learn how to say like God bless you, I guess, or go with God in Russian, it's um, uh, Zbogom. So Zbogom, Dasvidanya, goodbye, and yeah, okay. Anyways, this is not a lesson. Bye. Love you guys.